Hey guys, I'm Ozia and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be looking at the solar tower. So we're going to be, a, be making some more uh, rota uh, rotorcraft power. Uh, that's a, a free renewable energy source and that's not the chest I want to look into. This is the chest. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be making are the uh, solar towers. I've actually made some already because you can need more than one. Um, we're also going to be making the uh, solar mirrors which are focused light in on the tower. <coughs> And I've also got a rotational dynamo, so I can just turn that uh, uh, rotorcraft power, shaft power, into uh, thermal expansion power, the RF power. Um, okay, so what we're going to need first is we're going to need uh, four base panels and three liquid pipes and two ink sacks. I've got a couple more, I'm going to make a few more. And so what you do is you put one um, base panel in each corner. And then you run the uh, liquid pipes down the center and then put the ink sacks in the other two areas on the sides. And you get these solar tower like that. Okay. Next thing you're going to be making is uh, the uh, mirrors. And so the first thing you're going to need is a, I forgot what it's called, but essentially what you're going to need is uh, some silver and some glass. And you can just do this in the, um, standard work table or crafting table okay, and glass on the top so when you get this uh mirror and then the next bit is making a control circuit i think i think it's a control circuit no not that one oh we'll, we'll see in a moment so you need uh three gold <coughs> three hsl steel ingots two pieces of redstone and ender pearl there is a way to make this uh by using uh, a piece of copper and uh, some silver I think but you don't get as money at the end of it so let's just look at the uh, recipe for the solar mirror and okay so it's a circuit board so you've got two options here if you use the ender pearl it's gold and steel if you use a piece of copper it's electrum which is gold and silver and HSL steel so it depends on which what you got more of and so forth so let's go and make that. So first of all, we'll make a sort of A shape with the gold and then the steel, reverse the shape, put the redstone on the sides and then the ender pearl on, in the middle. So you got that. And the next thing is you're gonna need two base panels and a HSLL steel gear. And the steel gear goes in the center, base panels go in the bottom corner your control circuit goes in the bottom and the mirror goes at the top so we'll get the solar mirror excellent okay so what else do we need now oh, I've made some mirrors already some solar towers I'm uh, gonna need some shafts as well um, I've got the rotational dynamo uh, you need to pump liquid into this so uh, have some form of way of pumping water so you can use a uh, these uh, liquid pipes or you can use a uh, uh, the fluid pipes, uh, I think you can even use Buildcraft uh, water pipes as well. Uh, okay, so let's grab this extra stuff. Mm -hmm. Grab the dynamo as well. Uh, what? Uh, I've also missed something. Uh, bevel, bevel, sharp junction, bevel. You're going to need a bevel for this. Uh, the power of the solar, <coughs> solar tower comes at the bottom. So you need to use a bevel to transfer the power backwards. Okay, so let's put this bevel down first. Okay, so I've roughly chosen, let's choose here. Okay, so we want the input side to be pink, okay, no. Output should be black, no. Uh, let's get the two, okay, orange is output. Yep. What's the input? Dark boy. There we go and then what you want to do now is you want to get your solar tower units put one down like that uh, have I actually I should go grab some extra uh, some things to jump on to have I got cobblestone some of that yep cobblestone <coughs> okay you do want to put down one on top of the other you are going to need at least two uh, if you've only got one, it won't work. Uh, you need at least two. The bottom one is the one that outputs the power, and it's also the one that you need to input water into. So if we just uh, 
run this uh, fluid pipe even further. <coughs> and if we look at it, it should be filling up with water. Yep. Excellent. And then what we want to do is we want to run the shaft power out. Like this, this, and this. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this one. See if we can put a dynamo. Use this. This should be a bit faster. Okay. Uh, where's our dynamo? Our dynamometer, I, I mean. Okay, so that should tell us uh, how much power it's doing, which is zero, of course, because there's no solar mirrors. And we'll get our rotational dynamo out. And then we should be able to... If I had the screwdriver with me, I don't. Where did I put the screwdriver? Back over here, screwdriver, screw. There you are, my trusty friend. A meteor shower is starting. Uh, no, I did not expect this. <gasps> okay. This must be an update to the mod, or maybe I'd never experienced this. This is hilarious. And it's leaving crap everywhere. What's exploding? Okay. Uh, you should not be there. There we go. Well, um, hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'll be right back. Actually, no. I'm just gonna leave the stuff here. Uh, okay. Yep. There we go. We can we can work around this meteor shower. Okay. So you're gonna need uh, at least two, and you're gonna need to pump water into the bottom one, uh, and then we need to get the screwdriver to rotate this so it's facing that way. Uh, let's make sure this pipe connects. Putting it back. Where is it? You know what? That's actually the first time I've actually seen a meteor shower like that. Usually I only just see one. I'm gonna do that water tower get broken. Water stream's good. That is hilarious. I'm gonna have to Google that later. Okay, so right now we're getting nothing. So now we wanna do is we wanna put the solar mirrors. And the solar mirrors gotta be they have to be touching the uh, base of the uh, solar tower. So one there, and as you can see, it if it's if you've placed in the right place, it should start rotating towards the tower. Uh, as you can see, we we're getting one thousand kilowatts, so one newton meter at one thousand rads. And what time is it? Is it morning or is it afternoon? I might have to cheat the sun up. Yep. As you can imagine, it is a uh, solar powered, so you do need the sun. It will generate more power with the sun out. Uh, it will generate zero power with the sun not out at all. So during the middle of the day, it's at strongest, like that. And these mirrors will work as long as they're connected to uh, a mirror that's already working. So let's just look at the uh, the power output doing 14 newton meters. I should also mention that the the size of the tower um, actually uh, changes the power output. So if you, as you can see, we're getting 14 Newton meters at the moment. So let's just uh, quickly add these ones. Where's my cobblestone? Put this one there, break that up. Okay, we look at the dynamo. We're now getting 56. So um, it's actually cheaper to make these uh, towers um, and put them in first. Um, the maximum I've got up to these towers is uh, 18 towers tall. Um, in my test world, it the game crashes if I go more than testing 18. Sorry. Um, I've also noticed that um, for an early system, if you put more than four in, uh, it generally doesn't add to the extra power. So that that fifth one we got at the top there really isn't adding anything at all. Um, however, when you add more mirrors, um, that fifth one actually starts to 
add to the system. So what's this? Uh, okay, so we've got all our mirrors. Um, <clears throat> mind you, the taller this tower is, the more mirrors you can put onto it. So we're getting 80 new meters of torque. Uh, and it goes at 1,000k rads. So I think it's at about 1,024 rads. So that's how you make a solar tower. Um, the other things you want to worry about is um, one, don't jump on the mirrors because they will break and they not like fall apart, but they'll actually break and you have to replace them with new materials. <coughs> the other thing is the more you put up here, uh, the higher chance you've got of them actually burning stuff above them. So if you start getting to about a radius of two to three mirrors, when you go up above them, you'll start to catch on fire. Uh, when you get to about between four and five radius, as I mean, uh, a radius as in one, two, three, so forth mirrors away from the tower. <coughs> when you get to four or five, <coughs> four or five, um, you can actually start melting stuff. So in my test world, I was using fluid pipes and they turned into lava once I got to about uh, five rows around the outside. But um, these fluid pipes, uh, the rotary craft ones, don't seem to turn to lava as easy. And um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I should also mention that I am working on a way how to use these towers to convert cobblestone into lava, which is interesting. So I think that's about it for these guys. Um, until next time, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you got any requests, put them down as well. And until next time, guys. Mm -hmm.